Hello lovely people, I am back. My name is Alethea Thomas and if you have not been here before, um, I mostly vlog and talk about books and bookish things, but today I'm actually going to talk a little bit about fall decor again. Um, last video that I put up, I, has, I spoke about uh, fall decor and some crafting things I was doing and I said that I really don't get into decorating that much. Well, I kind of did a little bit this year and I thought, hey, I want to share it with everybody because I love it. I think it's fun. Um, and so I thought, you know, hey, you guys might be interested in it too. I think I was mostly just inspired by a whole bunch of YouTubers uh, sharing their fall decorations online and a lot of it was very cozy, very cute. And I was like, you know what, I've got a lot of decorative stuff in this house that I don't really ever break into very much. Um, a lot of it wasn't owned by me to begin with. It, it was just stuff I've ended up with. And so I was like, okay, well I need to go through this stuff anyway, so let's do that and let's see you know, what I can come up with to decorate. And I love it, I think it's really fun. I didn't go too crazy, it's just a few things here and there. Um, and so now I'm just going to show you around the house a little bit and show you what I have decorated. You can kind of see in the background here the mantle. I added um, a garland and some pumpkins and some floral stuff that I had. And I will do an up closer view of that. So I suppose that's it for right now. Oh yeah, I did do one more thing. Uh, let me grab them really fast. I want to say that the arrangement that I'm going to show you that's up above the sink in my kitchen um, was actually planned to be a little bit bigger, but the space didn't really allow for it. So this vase I really, really loved, and I think it's just the, the neatest thing. I think the colors are right on for fall, um, and, and that kind of transitional kind of transitional feel. So what I ended up doing instead is getting a bunch of, you know, of these grasses from Michael's. Um, I looked at Joann's, I actually wasn't very impressed with them. And then also this from Michael's. So I really like those. And so what I think I'm gonna do instead um, with this vase is to put it over on my table instead. So I'll show that really quick and I'll probably show you me arranging this because there is some more stuff that I will put into this vase other than just, um, I think these are like eucalyptus, I think is what they're supposed to look like, and, um, and the grasses. So there's a, a little bit more, but I was thinking something, you know, with some grasses and some leaves might really look cool in a big, big, big vase like this. So anyway, um, other than that, let me show you what I have finished. Be right back. Okay, so this little area here is above my sink and it's in the kitchen. So I just put a nice little floral arrangement in the gap there. We have a couple of German steins that I like to kind of keep up on display up here anyway. So they kind of lend in to the fall theme, I think. Um, there's a couple of pumpkins, sunflowers, chrysanthemums, I'm not sure what that little red flower is. I think it was just some random red that you know I had around, so I picked it up and threw it in there. But I think it turned out rather well. I'll show another um, shot of it from a little bit farther away so you can see the sink too. Yeah, so here it is from a bit farther away. I think it turned out really nicely. And it just kind of looks nice from, from somebody just coming into the kitchen and looking. I was like, oh, there's a nice floral arrangement up there. All right, let's move on. So this is the entrance of my house. So like from here is the door and then you're walking in and then you see this mirror here a little bit. So it's like the first thing you see when you walk in. But I put a nice little arrangement there. I think it looks very nice, asymmetrical. Um, I always have those foo dogs there because I just think they're really cool. I love uh, anything Oriental, Chinese, uh, Asian, Japanese, Korean. I have all kinds of little bits and bobs of stuff like that. But, and then there's this nice big American mirror. I, can't, I don't think you can get more American than that mirror there. 
I'm gonna try to get the whole thing in view, but I don't think I can. Anyway, so that is that is the <coughs> excuse me. So that is the entrance. So that is the entrance. And then this is the fireplace mantle. So we're a little bit closer. I'll kind of come in here some more. So I usually keep these evergreens up most of the year round. Um, I feel like that they do well for most of the year. I just haven't taken them down. I think I put them up last Christmas and I have never felt like they needed to come down. Same thing with the candlesticks. I always keep those up. They are the mercury glass sort of candlesticks, authentic mercury glass. Um, I love them and they pretty much will always remain on display because I, I love them. But we added some aspen leaf garland to the entire mantle, a few pumpkins here and there. It looks like these are kind of red-ish chrysanthemum or marigolds probably, now that I'm thinking about it. Then more pumpkins. This painting we have had in the family for a very long time. I think it's gorgeous and I just keep it up on the mantle all the time. More of the garland, pumpkins. And then I had um, basically, oh, what are they, what do they call it? A giant pick, basically. Um, I just I just shoved it in that glass milk bottle because my family a very long time ago had a milking company and they had a lot of glass bottles. So that glass bottle is from the Barnes Milking Company. And then you see the entrance from there. So yeah. That is the stuff that's finished so far, and now I'm gonna work on that big vase. I'm back again. So I have removed everything that was on the table previously, and now I think I'm gonna put the, the vase kinda in the center. I'm not sure if maybe I'll move it down to one corner or not. I haven't really made it that far yet, but I'm gonna grab a few more um, picks and try and figure out how I would like this to look and I'll just keep the camera rolling. And of course I still have the tags on these things. I need to get them off. really sure about the color of these. I don't know. Move the camera just a little bit. Maybe that's a bit better. I'm not really sure about the color of these. They're very fake looking, obviously, but I'm just not sure if I like this orange. It's not terrible. 
like to actually see more of the leaf too. Well, let's just try it. Um, I'm not a big fan of cutting um, the fake foliage down. If I have to, I will, of course, but if I can get away with bending it um, so I can make it shorter, I, I prefer that. Thing. Usually not that big is putting like a ton more in. And once I kind of get a feeling for what what I like the look of, I don't know. Let me try tucking some of this grass in the front and maybe like bending it down forward. That might look good. good from this angle. I feel like maybe if we're going to go with kind of an asymmetric the blue that they used for the plastic on this branch is not ideal to me, but I don't think it's super noticeable. You notice I'm also using the wall <laughs> for, for some leverage. So I rest, rest the branch on. Hmm. Maybe that's not the branch to use. really. And I think I can steal some from the other. I think I 
too asymmetric now. I'm not sure. I think it needs to be balanced just a bit more. But I think I think the general idea is here. And I like it. And I think that's all that really matters. Maybe get center of these bits just a little bit more. Just visual interest wise. And then raise that up just a hair. I think that looks better. I'm almost thinking maybe it needs to be just a little bit shorter, but I really don't want to cut that down if I don't have to. So I'm going to leave this for now. So you all let me know what you think. I think it's cool. We'll get some closer, we'll get some close-up shots of it here. So that'll be kind of centerpiece for display for right now. Um, I think if I were to put it on a table, I'd probably just go ahead and ditch the really long branch. So this will be what's on this table. And then for my like everyday teapot that I use, I always kind of keep it on the side table anyway. I went ahead and swapped out my blue and white spode for this Royal Albert, which is the Country Roses pattern. And um, I don't actually have a lot of Country Roses stuff. I have the larger teapot but I need to get some actual cups and saucers for this one. But I always think they're too expensive when I see them around on sale. So just a, just a side note. But that, you know, that's kinda, kinda the mail table. That's what it's gonna have on display right now. Okay, well I'm gonna wrap this one up for now. I hope that you enjoyed, and um, I sure enjoyed kinda showing you all the fun things I've put around the house because I'm proud of them. I think they're fun. I think they're cute and I don't normally decorate like I said but I you know I did it this time <laughs> maybe I'll keep it up who knows but thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you soon with the uh, probably yeah we'll see you soon with my October TBR and then also probably before that will be my uh, September wrap up my gosh the year is going by so yeah stay tuned for those thank you Bye-bye.